good morning. So Sambrita and I are just chilling on the beach waiting for everybody else. And we're gonna be wandering over to Playa Shreya, which is Star Beach. We're really excited to see this Star Beach. It should be really, really good snorkeling over there. Even right here, Danny and Kurt have already gone out and they had really nice snorkeling. Playa Estrella is really special because so many starfish gather here in shallow water, making it easy to see a ton of them all at once. We have researched a bit of the starfish beach and so many local blog sites have said not to touch the starfish. So if you plan a trip to Bocas, just remember that it's awesome to take pics and videos, but don't touch the beautiful animals living here. A lot of the locals do not appreciate the Instagram photos with the starfish in your hands. We found a really nice campsite here. It has bathrooms and Wi-Fi and beach views, as well as the beach views. There's a restaurant close by. Dania and I have yet to check it out. And Sambrita is loving the beach as always. <laughs> So on our walk to the Star Beach, we decided to take a pit stop at Danny's snorkel spot that he found <laughs> yesterday. Oh, it was so nice! I liked it. Yeah, it's this sunken dock over there. That yesterday was high, higher tide, so it was completely underwater. But uh, it was really beautiful, low tide. So now we're gonna do a little walk over here to Starfish Beach, which should have tons of starfish. And Kurt and Snow took a little water taxi over because her knee isn't doing well, but this is looking like a beautiful path here. How about this path? It's cool, it's nice and shady. I love that. So the end of the road is back where we camped and there's no road past that point over here. This is uh, going over to the Starfish Beach, but I love that this area just completely undeveloped. Beautiful beaches compared to the town. This is what we were looking for. I love it. There is a bus stop, so if you don't have a van, you can just take the bus over here and enjoy this beautiful walk along the beach. Pristine Caribbean. I bet we even wouldn't be able to walk this way if it was higher tide. Walking on the beach the whole time, but our feet are in the water. Here we go. Walking up to the Starfish Beach. Snow and Kurt have a really good spot laid out for us. This is nice. Whoa. Fancy, huh? This feels like that island in Mexico. Yeah. Holbosh? Holbosh. Where you got a nice string of places along the ocean, but it feels sleepy still. Yeah. Look at that boat out there. That thing's falling. Oh, wow. That could come from the uh, mainland over there, from Almirante, where we took the ferry. <laughs> oh, cool. Cuchurritos. Bibis. Yeah, so there's a lot more development over here than we expected. Of course, you know, over there it's just pure forest, but along the beach, a string of really nice, cute places. One of them was called Emily, that one with the puppies. That was my favorite. Yeah, I like that Emily. I like that Emily a lot. But nonetheless, we press on in search of curtain snow. I'm a little worried they got lost. Nah, they probably just came all the way to the end. And this place is using a generator to, to power, which, you know, there's no electricity over here. Look the eyes. 
Anna. Ooh. There's snow. Hey, we spotted her. Oh, this is another cute one. Don de Mena. She said there's starfish next to that boat. So snow let us know that there's some starfish right over here. But let's get set up, chilling. Over here, this spot is looking nice. I think they did choose a good spot. But this is the starfish beach. Estrella Playa in Spanish, star beach. But it's really known for these starfish. Heck yeah. So we'll be chilling here. Looks like they definitely have some seafood. Hey, good spot. It took me like forever to get through to you, Misty Blue. In any kind of weather, I thought of you, Misty Blue. It's hard to know. All right, so we're gonna head back to our campsite. For us to take the water taxi is only $3. So we're gonna head back with Snow and Kurt. Such an awesome time here. We saw so many starfish. We brought some lunch, but it looks like a pretty good place to eat and pass some time. We also had a couple beers so we could patronize the restaurant we saw in front of.
And there's my girl. Yeah. Wow, that's nice. A boat ride today too, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Adios. Playa Estrella. Te gusta sombrita. to show you about our new snorkeling gear we have here we got a set of fins now it really helps when you're out there swimming if there's some current it's just really nice having these you move a lot faster the main upgrade we got here is this mask and tube but this mask is pretty nice for visibility uh, similar to what I had, but you know, just a more professional addition. Really, this is the big upgrade for us. This tube is called a dry snorkel. What's special about that is up here, there's this ball that's free to move. When a wave comes, water lifts that up because it's an empty ball, clogs the breathing tube there. So the first time it happens, it's kind of freaky because you can't breathe through it when it happens. But what that does for you is you can go underwater. When you come back up, you don't have to blow out to breathe out the water that got into your tube or like when I was at Punta Uva in the series with Kurt and Snow there were waves that were coming over you the whole time so every breath out I had to really consciously blow that out but this has made it just way better snorkeling to not have to worry about getting that water in there so I recommend get a dry snorkel if you can I didn't even know about this until Kurt showed me his fancy stuff and I thought it might be interesting to show you guys because of that. You got the hunting equipment here. <laughs> so here at the end, you keep this little tip on it. This is called a Hawaiian sling, by the way. But you know, that's the part that spears your prey. So when you're not using it, keep this on. But over here at the other end, there's this elastic. So you hold it like this in your hand. And when you're swimming, you know, you don't want to tense it up at that point because for my carpal tunnel, that's really rough on my wrist. Basically, you swim around like this. When you see something, you're ready to spear. You just tense that up and then it's ready to go. And when you let go, pew, shoots forward. So hopefully I can catch something on this soon. time out there <laughs> Mr. Independent Did you see anything out there my boy you're a good guy huh got to take a little walk on your own well just having the morning coffee and Kurt said he might have an ear infection so we're gonna bust out the van's medical supplies here and we carry some antibiotics ever since the states. So hopefully we can sort that issue. Pretty sweet little place here. 10 bucks a night. We can use this area much as we want for free. But they have these fancy like beach beds. There they want you to pay 10 bucks to use that. So not worth it. <laughs> But you, uh, yeah, we have a bed, but you can get some drinks there. You can get food over here, and they got Wi-Fi that reaches to the van. So we met another local who just gave us some tips for another island we went to check out called Bastimentos. Sombrita actually started playing with his dog first, then we met him, and she's always making some friends. What do you think, Emily? Beautiful. I love it. Yeah. Graham. Oh, Graham, just take it easy on the root. He just yawns.
He loves eating birds. Not like live ones, just like if you cook some chicken or whatever. <laughs> Graham. So we're heading out of the Starfish Beach area, Playa del Draco. Oh, we got this. Thanks so much, Snow, for helping us get out. <laughs> Y'all have fun scuba diving. I can't wait to see the footage. Yeah, thank you. See you later. Yeah, we'll stay in touch with how birds feel. For sure. Good job, Danny. Oh, I guess I'll put this back up. Efficient. Yep. Awesome. Let's go, Zambita. All right, so we're heading out to do some scuba diving. Danny caught us an awesome deal. Only 65 bucks for two dives, which is less than half as much as the quote before. We're leaving this little corner of paradise, but the snorkeling was epic, which was what we were hoping. The other side's more wavy. And I did catch a uh, lobster today with the Hawaiian sling, so got to at least, uh, you know, break the ice on using that thing. You're gonna have to show everybody what it tastes like and looks like and everything. <laughs> Yeah, we're excited! Crossing the island. Crossing the island. That's all built out of plastic. Castle inspiration. I love it. Museum of plastic. Oh, that's really cool. Somebody's making good use of old plastic. It's nice see to feed that that hungry mommy doggy. She's hungry. Sombrita, however, is a little concerned. I know, I know. She was a nice mama, Sombrita. Yeah, now that her food's back in the van, she's not freaking out anymore. <laughs> she's like, that's mine! Oh, she says, you want all the love. Why are you guys giving love to random dogs? Is that it, baby? It's okay, Sombrita. There's these free water hookups along the road. I see a mega spider there, by the way. So that can be nice, but people on I Overlander Road, it's best to boil it anyway if you're gonna drink it. Well, I'm glad I got you guys on my side. Emily doesn't appreciate this because she's a vegan. But look at this, <laughs> my first lobster catch and cook plate of food. Woo, just went with the butter garlic. First catch with my spear. Here we go, gotta eat it. Well, it was pretty good. You know, it wasn't as good as those fish tacos. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should aim for fish every time. But it was fun. So great that's dreaming. Thanks so much for joining us on our first day living the island life in Bocas del Toro. We'll see you guys next time when we're scuba diving out here.